Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. I said I'd do a little update on progress in the yarn van and here we are. So this corner is a little congested with yarn at the moment. If I move my the most uncomfortable chair in the world out the way, you can see that is a chest of drawers, this white thing. But that is a box with some yarn in. This is a box with some new yarns in that haven't got these boxes yet to go in but they will have so at the moment behind there is a chest of drawers that I dread anybody ordering the contents because I'll have to get all this out and it does happen but um I should really remove that the stuff from those drawers because they're very small don't hold much so they're a bit of a useless thing so I could always put them in my um, accessory drawers, which I will get round to doing. But I haven't got a lot of uh, clearance yarn left. But we've found homes now. We've got the party time in there. We've got some of a very small amount of the paint box splash. This is all um, new yarns. So down here, we've got the mandalas, the uh, batik swirls and the elements. We've got the impressions and behind this new box from King Cole, which is gigantic, we've got all the cottons. On the middle shelf, we've got um, what's left of the price wise and the Bambino and Bambino prints and the start of my special Aran, which goes all the way along. And then we've got the jitterbug getting in the way. The only reason the jitterbug's there it and not there is because that's not got much in it so it's not so heavy for the top shelf it's it's not the heaviness of it for the shelf it's for me getting it down so uh this was chocker blog and quite heavy so i put it there but this is it where the special aaron lives it's just that those have transposed we've got the bellissima forest aaron what's left of the batik and the other rainbow rain robin paint box but they're the sprinkles and also there is that XL merry-go-round in the same space. We've got that colour vibe, which is beautiful. And the flutter by. So then coming over to the area that really does need some attention soon. These are recording equipment and heaters. These are heaters for when it's cold. And there's my my little guy i need to take those knitting needle bags into the house that's uh what's left of the karen simply soft camo and that speckly one and there's a swift up there and there's some uh things like knitting uh, machines and stuff live on those shelves can't really see what they are so we have yarn bundles christmas yarn from king cole that thick chunky one that has lots of different colors uh, what's left of the opium and the riot there then we've got a whole line here of squeeze me and that box that shouldn't be there we've got fusion chunky cloud nine and that's the pebbles oh that's lovely that yarn that's a um camping kettle just don't know why it's there uh, and the special chunky which there's also some special chunky underneath my shelves so we have Hayfield Spirit and down there, Ultra Soft Chunky and Calypso Fjord has all gone. I'm not sure. I think that's T-shirt yarn behind this hobby box here. That's T-shirt yarn. We have the beaches and tropical beaches there. And that is the Starcraft Sparkle, Baby Sparkle, beautiful yarn. Really lovely colours in that. And we've got Ultra Soft Chunky swirly whirly cake sorry there's the chunky there's the swirly whirlies james c brett baby aaron very very inexpensive and extremely soft um and the squeeze me's i've already shown you we're getting up the dark end um i blocked all the windows in so we've got special dk lives up here and as you can see there's quite a lot of different boxes we've got some yarn bundles as well and that there is all that's left of the elise and there's not very many balls about six i think of pink but um when i did that um no turning chain video and people see how lovely the elise worked up it just flew out the door and uh yeah so that's all i've got left is a few pinks um more special dk all along here and then we've got the peter pan so we have precious chunky which is furry four ply 
um, and DK. That's all DK in that one, and three ply and two ply in there. At the bottom, we've got the new denim, the new simply denim, and then we've got some bougie hand dyed hanks, and I think Jenny Watson's in there because that's merino. We've got the Knit Me Crochet Me in those there. And then we go along to the new section, which was full of stuff from my old house. There's a space because it's really hard to get them to fit. I've got more splash there. And that one, what is this? Oh, that's the Winter Wonderland in there. It does go back two more, but I can't really move these boxes. Um, along here we have more of the pebble, more of the paint box splash and we've got the sprinkles pop which is gorgeous in there. We've got the sh yeah there and we have tea and we've got the, what's that, cherished and, ooh, can't read it, um, comfort Aaron and we've got quartz and uh, Highland Heathers. We've got a little bit of overspill of Prinkles Pop because there was not enough room in that one. This is all Aldi. We've got Aurora, Noggin and Funny Feets in there because I don't have great deals. And these are not actually on. Um, this one might be, but a lot of these. I've got 11 balls of that and I didn't list it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep it or not. So we've got more yarn bundles over here. And this is where it gets messy, babe. This is really where it gets messy that's one of my whips that was a christmas hat so these are ones that you get free in uh, yarn magazines i used to pop them in people's orders so over here we've got more yarn uh yarn bundles and odds and ends and you can see one of my severed head collection there we've got my mannequin and all my yarn lives on this wall i've got more boxes up there and these are the boxes that i make into boxes this is my nail stuff. I did a nail course. I can do gel nails. So this is all my, my equipment and that for that. Through there, you can see more of my yarn poking through. But these are all odds and ends of scrap yarn. And I had started making cakes with them a long while ago. But this is all stuff from my other houses. Clothes and DVDs and stuff like that. And then heaven knows what's in the ones you can't see through. And footwear there's more of the splash and there's more yarn in that gray one but can't see through it so not sure what it is but all of these all of these need to go and then it will be more more space for yarn because i will stand even though this is where my yarn lives as you can see there's grogu poking through there and there's that doll that i bought thinking it might be good for a mannequin even though they live there you know they're not going to forever. These are all things that I have to make up. So these are boxes that are flat packed and I have to make them up. They, those are the ones I was going to get for... Oh, no, those ones there are for... They're very small and you make them up for crochet hooks. And over the other side, I have boxes you make up for um, crochet kits and stuff like that. And down here, this is just a bag of bags that I... You, I can, they're kind of those ones you get from Poundland, you know, the a bag for life type things like the one it's in but you can i take them orders in the house kind of in those in these drawers live all the crochet hooks well not all of them but some of them um anyway and then if i go along this is where i'm going to you know i said earlier i've got crochet hooks and stuff in those back uh, drawers over there that if people order them i'm going to struggle <laughs> they're going to end up in here because i don't have to keep all of this stuff in here um that some of these drawers are empty anyway and i've got crochet kits which can go in one of these these type boxes you know with the lid and i've got puzzles and crochet kits up there and coming along i've got pictures of my kids when they were young and teenagers and pictures of us as family so my computer and my swift is here but it's been a bit obscured by bags packaging because this is my packing area up here i've got free patterns that i put in people's orders and i've got stitch markers tape measures and scissors and those are those things you can use to make a box with but they're rubbish absolute rubbish not fit for purpose here's my bags that i put in people's order here it is and then i fill it with stitch markers and my um 
cards and then I put a little thank you sticker on and I put free yarn in it and that's what all this kind of stuff over here is where I've been doing that and now we're back to the beginning again so down here and this is another chest of drawers it's not really fit for purpose it doesn't the drawers only open a slight amount and it's really hard to get anything in these are my teddies my brother uh sent this one in to me when I was in labor with Paul um but some of these are just teddies that me and Gary um got each other well he mostly got them for me like this little dude look at that how cute is that just little soppy ones when we weren't living together so that's it yeah it's come on a lot as you can see um but it needs more work it does especially this area here which looks a mess but it isn't it's got heaters and um those black ones are full of my uh yarn but and the american yarns are there as some of them anyway and there's tins of bits and pieces so it looks a mess but it really isn't and underneath it is my air conditioning unit and my uh sewing machine but although it looks unsightly i'm going to clear that off and find other places to keep that stuff because then i can put a couple of these on each shelf and they couldn't use to do that because behind it was the electricity uh, supply. And that's, you know, the only place I used to have to plug in. But I've got lots now. Uh, Gary's brother's put me lots of sockets in. So, yeah, the yarn goes all the way to the end now. All the way to the floor, all the way to the ceiling and over here as well. Um, I've got, I can put another one on top of that one like this. I like to double stack when I get a bit of space. So yeah, floor to ceiling yarn all the way along and more besides that needs needs a little place. But I'm getting there. So what I intend to do now is although you can see uh, my chair there, there's also yarn in those boxes. The cardboard box at the bottom, this one, where's my finger? There it is, that one there. It's full of things that I've been... Um, amassing like when I do my yarn quests and I, I get this yarn and some of it I might want to use some of it I do as giveaways some I put in people's orders and mystery boxes but I just pop them in those that box so um you know I can do do those things with it so I don't necessarily need the yarn when I do those yarn quests so that's what I do sometimes it um gets just adds to my my inventory and other times it's just yarn to uh, give to people as a because every time I pack an order I tend to put bits in and this I've just come out here today um I've packed most of my orders but I had a little new one and uh here it is it's got floral paper this one so I had to come out and pack that so I figured I'll have a little tidy well tidy but you know what I mean, a little sort out and uh, do a little update for you because I said that I would do one. Um, but what I like about working at here is I get to see the garden and the flowers. So um, a little while ago, that yucca tree had nothing on it and we'd pulled it completely to pieces. But there's some really pretty flowers over there. Not not brightest of days today and the same out of this window i get to see all the flowers there are some but you can't really see them so well but yeah it's nice nice to work and um sort of have a look outside and and see the you know the garden it's quite cute anyway thanks for watching i said i'd do another another update but um, some of the yarn the new yarns are in in here in their packs and uh, nice and safe and sound but it's easier to, to get them out when you have a box like this and you can go and say that's the jitterbug and you can get it out but um i will have spaces for all these new yarns pretty soon when i i need to sort out these um boxes and some of these can come out and share a box now um anyway thanks for watching as i said i'll see you guys on the next one take care bye for now